The winner in the category of Mainstreaming Environment and Humanitarian Action is a joint award to the American Red Cross and World Wildlife Fund. Soon after the 2004 Indian Ocean Tsunami, the American Red Cross and the World Wildlife Fund formed an innovative five-year partnership to help ensure that the recovery efforts of the American Red Cross did not have unintended negative effects on the environment. <coughs> Combining the environmental expertise of the World Wildlife Fund with the humanitarian aid expertise of the American Red Cross, the partnership has worked across the tsunami-affected region to make sure that the recovery programs include environmentally sustainable considerations which are critical to ensure a long-lasting recovery for communities. The Green Recovery and Reconstru Reconstruction Toolkit is a training program designed to increase awareness and knowledge of environmentally sustainable disaster response. For their effective leadership and participation in awareness raising, as well as market improvement in the consideration of environmental issues and humanitarian action, we are proud to recognize American Red Cross and the World Wildlife Fund with the Green Star Award. It's particularly humbling to be on stage with so many of the heroes that we've heard from already and we'll hear from Here later. And we'd also like to congratulate the Green uh, Cross International and President Gorbachev for 20 years of inspired leadership on issues that we care deeply about. As you saw, this program grew out of the 2004 Indian Ocean earthquake and tsunami, but it's never needed more than it's needed now. Even if by some miracle, as of today, we created a zero carbon planet, we'd still be fighting the impacts of climate change and increased risk of natural disaster for decades to come. What's exciting about the green reconstruction and recovery training and toolkit, which we affectionately refer to as GERT, is it's a story, it's many stories about hope, about communities that are able to take power and shape their future, and many of the organizations that are in this room have already joined with us to continue to innovate, adapt, share lessons, and this has been expanded to China, India, Pakistan, Mozambique, Haiti, to mention just a few of the countries that have embraced it. So thank you very much. President Gorbachev, our colleagues from OCHA, UNAMP, Green Cross International, uh, Achala and I, as well as the volunteers, staff, and leadership of the American Red Cross, thank you for this tremendous recognition. Combining the environmental expertise of WWF with the humanitarian aid expertise of the Red Cross has helped the tsunami-affected regions create long-lasting, environmentally sustainable recovery programs. We learned that reconstructing water systems in Aceh, Indonesia needed to be accompanied by community commitment to long-term watershed protection. We want to share this and much other learning more widely. Our lessons in our projects related to livelihoods, settlements, sanitation, all of these lessons can be found in the Green Reconstruction and Recovery uh, Toolkit. It ensures that any community recovering from a disaster has access to training and information to integrate similar knowledge and environmental sustainability concepts into their recovery plans. So now the toolkit is benefiting people recovering from the earthquake in Haiti. As the Red Cross plans with local leaders the revitalization of neighborhoods in Port-au-Prince, the green recovery and reconstruction concepts are helping guide rebuilding and development efforts that will reduce environmental degradation and enhance the environment wherever possible. And this in turn reduces risk and vulnerability to future shocks to the community so that homes and livelihoods and lives can be saved. Thank you again for this honor and for, help, and for helping us spread the word about this important resource. We hope more and more organizations will adapt it to suit the communities where they work around the globe. Thank you. <laughs>